Let's talk to Lisa in New Orleans. Lisa, you're on Winning It Life with Gregory Ricks. How can we help you? I do not have a 401k, but I participate in something called a deferred compensation uh, sort of project, I guess you'd say. And when it started, the company let us spread it out, like over seven years. Well, now the company's saying, hey, you know, if you retire or if you're terminated, you have to take it in one lump sum, and the option to spread it out has been taken away. What kind of tax hit am I looking at? Ouch, if that's a lot of money. It, so it's going to be subject to your tax bracket. And I, I've seen those plans before. I had somebody sit down with me uh, a few years ago, a friend that um, – was getting a deferred comp, and I think it was like 70 k a year for five years. Good, thank goodness they didn't force it upon her all at once. But it's going to be subject to your income that year and the amount of deferred comp. It's all going to be wrapped together, and you're going to be taxed at that tax bracket. Is it a lot? Uh, yeah. Okay. Ouch. I've been with this company like 30 years. And you've built up quite a bit. Gosh. Yes. And there's, I, is I just, there any I, way they could at least split it? I don't, I don't, I'm not going to ask you your amounts, but there's no way they're, they're not willing to do it in two parts. Like hit me in December and then in January. I, I just didn't think that when you started an option that they could change it midstream, but I guess that's legal if they're doing it. Yeah. I, I don't know the situation or to look in into that, but yeah, to change it on your midstream seems kind of tough. Can you access it in advance? When hurricane Katrina hit, we were allowed to take hardship discounts, but even that has been discontinued. Wow. And there's no COVID option on that to take some this year? None. None. Oh, my goodness. I'm sorry to hear that. Um, yeah, I don't, I, I'd like to do some, some reading about it, but, yeah. Let me throw if this at you. That's what the then. plan is telling you. There was another uh, gentleman I talked with a few years ago, highly compensated and his separation plan was pretty big dollar. And I told him, I said, what you've got to go. So if you're tight with the owner, maybe you go back and restructure that. I was trying to get them to restructure that or funnel that money into another structure to avoid the taxes at this time. Gregory, what are you telling me about some? I'll definitely do some some investigative work, and I'll probably get back to you guys. Okay, All right. yeah, give us a call, Lisa. See if we can be of help more. But uh, yeah, the deferred comp through a third party, maybe. Wasn't there a pitcher that did that? Yeah, and that's what I was talking about earlier. Basically, it was taking and putting that money in maybe a life insurance structured deferred comp where that structure could then pay out the money later. So it's not coming to that individual. It's kind of like restructuring it, but she's not the only one at this company that's in this situation. This is for all the employees. And I, yeah, it, it's interesting. Could it be for a liability situation? They are carrying that, and somebody doesn't want that exposure or, or the cost of the insurance to protect them being paid out over time. Maybe. Might be that, but I, yeah. But that company on paying that, which was a contractual thing in that situation where that money's being paid out. The ball players, each of them are different contract situations. Is I don't want to take all of my money, take some of my money and put in this. I'm not going to be taxed on it. And then somewhere down the road, it's kind of like an annuity, for example. It starts paying out. Then you're being taxed on it at this time. So, uh so you're really what she's asking is, gosh, I, I've got this money. Can I put this off? Because that's later will be huge. and take distributions. Can I put it elsewhere and take distributions? I, I see this come up time to time. 